34. Okay, we're going to 34. Number 34. Determine an x coordinate of B that results in a slope that is undefined. An undefined slope goes straight up and down, doesn't it? Okay, so the 5 is going to repeat. In an undefined, the x repeats. Okay, so the answer is going to be 5. Okay, determine an x coordinate points that results in a slope that's undefined. It's going to go straight up and down. The x repeats. This should not be 4 right here. This should be, let's make it 4 here. So this right here would be 6, would it? The x's repeat in an undefined slope, right? Okay, determine if the lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. This right here is my slope. Over here, I'm going to move the x over. Then divide by 2. So this right here is my slope. They're opposite reciprocals. They're perpendicular, aren't they? Okay, right here, this is my slope, negative one-third. Determine if they're parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Move the x over, y equals negative 3x plus 5. This is my slope right here, negative 3. They're not opposite reciprocals, are they? They're same. They're both negative. So that one's neither. Number 38, determine a value of a that would make the two lines perpendicular. Okay, we want this slope right here. So move the x over. You get y equals 4x plus 6. 4 over 1 is my slope. The opposite reciprocal would be negative 1 fourth, right? So a would be needing to be a negative 1 over 4. Determine the value of a would make the two lines parallel. So we want this to be parallel, okay? Okay, let's go over here. I'm going to move the 6 over. So y equals 6x minus 10. I need my slope to be 10. So move the x, or my slope to be 6. Move that over. You would get 5y equals negative 8x plus 10. Divide by 5. So negative a over 5 needs to equal to 6. Multiply by 5. Negative a equals 30. So a is going to end up being a negative 30. That was a blast. Negative 30.